It's times like these That show us what we're all about And will you please Be strong enough to sit this out I'll see you on the other side This kiss is a rainbow's forever one The time will come but not tonight It's why we have to stay six feet apart We're gonna come together We hold all the cards We only have to play your part and everything will be all right it might be hard but staying home will save our lives i'll see you on the other side this kiss is a rainbow for everyone the time will come but not tonight to stay six feet apart We're gonna come together We hold all the cards We only have to play them right Six feet apart We're gonna come together Welcome you picking people out there on the YouTube. Be prepared for an utterly unqualified review. Now, my good friend Phil McKnight wrote me and said, hey, would you be willing to do a video uh, for Black Mountain Picks? And I looked at him and I'm like, it's a thumb pick. I am not the right guy for this. What the crap do I know? And he's like, yeah, but it'll be a favor to me and you'll give me a kick-ass price. And so I knocked some off, gave him a kick-ass deal. He handed that deal over to Black Mountain Picks, who he's, I, I think, friends with or working with. So all of a sudden we have a video. I warned them that this would be crappy. But here we are anyways. So um, I have almost zero experience with thumb picks. That's a thumb. That's a pick. And if you take a regular pick, like this chicken pick, and you combine it with the thumb... It doesn't work. Hence, thumb picks, which have a little ring, and then it goes on the thumb. But the size of that ring would have to be, 
well, pretty damn perfect for your thumb. And who has got the, kind of, right, the, the same kind of thumb? Well, nobody. Thumbs are like snowflakes. I hear. And um, you would think that I prepared any of this. I really didn't. That kind of humor all just comes out. So uh, Black Mountain Pigs had, uh, his name is Cole. Uh, the Cole Man uh, had a kick-ass idea and said, well, why don't we make it more compatible so that we don't have all these kind of pig ring sizes so that we have kind of a one, two, three size fits all. And uh, he writes me, right now there's one, which fits medium and extra large thumbs. Well, is this, is this medium, is this extra large, who knows? Um, but of course they're working on more. Um, it's right-handed, I don't quite understand what that has to do with anything, we're gonna get into that. Um, and it's 1.5 millimeter in pick thickness. But he's working on more if the concept works out. And so far I can say the concept's working out, he's getting orders in. And um, most importantly, there's a kick-ass clip uh, on Facebook that's getting a lot of attention of someone playing the shit out of a cool acoustic guitar the way that it's supposed to be played. So please look at other videos with uh, Black Mountain Picks because that's how they're supposed to be played, not the way that I'm playing it. So in the track in the beginning, you saw me playing that pick in many different playing styles on many different instruments. Um, and after a little bit of working with it, it works beautifully. So the way that it comes is right here on the table, comes on a little wooden, wooden dowel. And um, he sent me a whole bunch, which is very, very nice. Um, you can buy them sep uh, uh, separately, so single ones, or uh, I remember on the website, a pack of three for eighteen fifty, which isn't ridiculously expensive. It's not, you know, the normal pick uh, price, but it's a little bit more special. So as you can see right here, um, actually, no, we go to the favorite cam right there. This is a fairly regular 1.5 millimeter pick, Black Mountain, but it has a hinge on top part of the pick in black, and then there's a coil, a coil spring, and that goes to the loop, and that means the loop is much more flexible and opens up much more than a typical loop would be, because that typical loop would have a little bit of play, maybe this much before it breaks off or just hurts you too much, so I can actually shove this on my thumb Bam. And if my thumb was if, if my thumb was thicker, that's difficult to say, you know, I could still get quite a bit more thumb in there. If it was thinner, it would still hold because you see, it's actually this is completely closed and it's opening quite a bit. So this is much more compatible with the average thumb, which we now of course have learned is like a snowflake. As for playing styles, again, I'm not a flat picking country guy. We would have to have Andy Wood on this, but I'm gonna try a couple of playing techniques. Um, obviously, electric guitar totally works. Should we do this? Nah, we shouldn't. It's the same kind of thing. You can totally use it on electric if you so choose. Primarily, I would think that this is something that acoustic players do. I don't play a lot of acoustic, but I will now. I've got this Harley Dwicky thing here from the Benton people, which is a great guitar, which I broke up here. And as you say, why did you tape it so ugly? Well, because that's what I do. You can use this like you would a thumb. Let's, let's, let's do the, just the thumb, the naked thumb. Recorded with a Lewitt MTP440 Pure. No, LCT440 Pure. With the pick, takes a little bit to get used to and then you're good. It's a much more balanced sound because you're plucking the high strings, which means they have quite a bit of low end, whereas if you're, you're not really plucking the low strings. So with the thumb pick, you have a much more balanced uh, low high 
साउंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन cool thing is you can strum it careful when you up strumming because then you're kind of opening show that from the side let's see there from the desk when you up strumming see it's the spring is opening a little bit so when you up strumming do it lightly i find myself that i want to do this just with my thumb which is of course of course stupid because i could just hold it like a normal pick but lightly So um you can really weave in and out of different playing techniques again the typical thumb picking and um picking and then plucking at the same time Now with anything uh just like with anything you have to get used to it then you can again strum down you don't have to hold it for that and then you hold it and all of a sudden you can do some typical flat picking or of course you actually hold it like a normal pick you know solo stuff and then from there you go So once you get used to it you can really maneuver it beautifully based on the technique that you need. If you're someone who does that a lot, I think this could be really really cool for you. Um because it allows you to do all the different techniques that you wouldn't be able to do put your pick away, you know, put it in your pocket, like Jennifer Batten lick it put it on your forehead. You don't know what that looks like? I don't know. Jennifer Batten used to do this because she did all this tapping it's just, just, so she was playing 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 then she did this and then she you know did tapping 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 she needed her pick of course she didn't have a forehead like i do so it wasn't wasn't up here it was more like here and then she played got the pick you cannot do that with your black mountain pick actually i don't know you can do that and turn yourself into a unicorn I like it. It takes some getting used to. The only concern I have when you're flat picking or when you're using it like a normal pick and you're holding it, um I do we all do maneuver the pick slightly in angle. And because it's kind of attached to your thumb, you don't have that. So it's very rigid on your thumb and I feel like I have to maneuver my hand more. So so the pick doesn't move as much because it's attached to your thumb. So 
So that takes some getting used to. Um, but of course, if you're used to thumb picks, that's not an issue. And if you want to get more into finger picking stuff, I can only recommend spending, I would say, get the three pack. 1850, get a three pack and see if you like them. That's really all that I can say about this thing. I enjoyed working with it. I have a bunch now. Uh, they'll go into my drawer. And if I need to do some uh, finger licking, finger picking, good finger picking, um, I'll use them. So as I said before, this has been a sponsored video. Uh, if I had found that these are crap and I don't like them at all, um, I either would have said it or refused to make a video, but I do like the concept and they're not overly priced. Actually, given the fact that they have a cold spring and two parts and all this, they're, they're kind of priced like my chicken picks, which are, you know, coilless. One of these is seven bucks. So actually, back mountain picks are rather inexpensive. So check them out if you are a finger picker. Flat picker, country dude, you need the boy and and all that stuff, which I wish I could play, but I cannot. Thanks, Cole, you're a cool guy. Thanks, Phil, for hooking us up. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. And thank other people for other things. Stay safe out there. Links below. Animals at the end. Thank you.